Hello everyone, I'm Robert Nirimihio and welcome back to my channel. Our discussion for this video will revolve on the philosophies of one of the modern philosophers who is considered to be the father of modern philosophy and that is no other than Rene Descartes. Well, it is in no doubt that Rene Descartes recognizes the significant questions raised by the ancient philosophers regarding human existence. And surely, their way of exploring answers to questions about human existence has not been disregarded. But Descartes is more concerned in understanding the thinking process as a way to answer different questions, in a scientific way that is. Rene Descartes is an aspiring scientist, and as a scientist, you need to base the knowledge you obtain through rational inquiry and real-world experimentation. And inquiry involves our ability to think, investigate, analyze, experiment, and develop our own rational conclusion. In the best-known work of René Descartes, called Meditation on First Philosophy, Descartes concluded that everything that has been taught to him by authorities and other adults are questionable and likely to be false. So he decided not to endorse everything that has taught to him, and his solution is to start from scratch in gaining true and well-supported beliefs through empirical evidences or based on observations and factual data. So if the thing passed to the test of doubt, then that's the time you should believe in it. Now let me read to you a text drawn from the book of Salvation Villafuerte. On his meditation on first philosophy, Descartes claimed that we cannot really rely on our senses because our sense perception can often deceive us. There are times when we hear something where in fact there is nothing, and that we are only deceived by our sense of hearing. This will be true to our sense of sight, smell, touch, hearing, and so on. Therefore, Descartes refused to believe in the certainty of his sense perception and started to doubt everything. That is why Descartes was convinced that one can achieve a well-reasoned conclusion if that person doubts everything that was taught to him, because it is only in that way that one will not get confused in seeking a well recent conclusion if one will drop whatever knowledge he obtained from other people. As a result, one can gain a conclusion that is truly his own and not by other people. As Rene Descartes said, For once in your life, doubt, as far as possible, all things. Well, you will not have a solid rock foundation of your own belief if you will not doubt or question, or just accept what was taught by people around you. In that sense, with Descartes' quest for true knowledge, and since he can no longer doubt that there is a person who is doubting and that is him, he then said his famous principle, Cogito ergo sum, or I think, therefore I am or I doubt, therefore I exist. This only means that being aware of ourselves or being self-conscious is the essence of existing as a human identity. Therefore, having self-identity is dependent on your self-consciousness and having self-consciousness is dependent on your self-identity. Rene Descartes considers human as a thinking thing, that humans are capable of doing mental operations like 
understanding situations to which you find yourself in or doubt the idea presented to you, affirm the truth of statements made about you or deny an accusation, push yourself to finish a task, or imagine a fulfilling career or even feel passionate emotions towards other people. In addition to engaging in all of the mental operations, your self-identity is dependent also on the fact that you are capable of being aware that you are indeed engaging in these mental operations while you are doing them. Well, if you are consistently not aware of what you are doing, it will not be possible of you to have a self-identity. Like Socrates, Plato, and St. Augustine, which I have discussed in my previous video lectures, Rene Descartes also believed in the idea of the soul and body as well as the dualism of reality. The essential self connoting the soul is the self as a thinking entity and the body termed self as physical body described as non-thinking entity. The dualism of reality in the stand of Descartes emphasizes the spiritual realm as part of reality that includes the conscious thinking being. And for Descartes, we need reasons in order to evaluate our thoughts and action as by such we can conclude that human rationality is the primary condition of the existence of the self. And that ends our discussion for the philosophy of Rene Descartes. I hope you learned something in our topic as there will be more lessons that we will be tackling in our next video discussion. Now, if you learned something from our lecture, you can send your comments and share this video to the rest of your friends. And if you wanted to get notified for our succeeding topics, please do not hesitate to click on the like and bell notification button and hit subscribe. See you in our next lecture video.